teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some breaking news coming out of the MDT Pick Fed. Now, this is some massive news, actually, especially as we head down the road into My Damn Nation. You guys know that is the next pay-per-view. It's the WrestleMania. It is the big show. It is, the, it is the showcase of the Immortals. It is the big time. We have our biggest show of all time, and I know we've had shows, you know, pretty big. We had the Royal Rumble. We had Hell's Gate. Probably the two biggest shows in our history thus far. And I'd imagine that My Damn Nation is going to be at twice those size. As far as importance, as far as storylines and capping off and bringing the pick fed to some ultimate conclusion, My Damn Nation is going to be the show of all shows. But before we get there, guys, we are headed into our final six episodes of not only Vindication, but MDT Live. MDT Live is not going to be showcasing today's video besides one little portion, but we are going to be talking about Vindication because that is the next episode coming up. You guys know it's been hyped up. It's coming. It's coming. I'm continuing to work on it. I know I thought I'd have it up this past week, but we're almost there. We're almost freaking there. But before we get there, I think it's time to make a very important announcement. An announcement that actually upsets me. And it's something that me and Brad had to come together on. And we talked about it. And we filled it out. And we think this is the best thing to do going forward with everything that's taking place in the actual world. And so at this time, we want to announce two suspensions. Not releases. You know, they're just suspensions until further notice. They could be released. But as the at this moment, we are suspending the revolutionary champion, Marty Skrull. And we are suspending Velveteen Dream until further notice notice. If you guys didn't know, there are some things that are going on in the actual real world and I don't really want them in the pick fed. Marty Skrull and Velveteen Dream are accused of some serious allegations against them. We haven't seen all the facts or the evidence quite yet, you know. I want to go with suspension because I don't want to say that they'll never be back again because you know anything is possible. I don't know every single fact about the case against Marty Skrull and Velveteen Dream. That's why I'm kind of waiting to see what takes place before I say, you know what, they're cut, they're released, go on, get the hell out of here. So I am going to be suspending both of these guys, you won't be seeing them on TV as we go into My Damn Nation. Any future plans that we had for them, they are going to be gone. And maybe one day we'll see them back, but for now, I am going to be suspending them. So, Velveteen Dream will no longer be on the MDT Live roster as of now, so the man literally had a... He was on a roll. You know, he showed up at the Royal Rumble, he had a good showing, he qualified for the Elimination Chamber, had a great effort in that thing, had some good showcases on MDT Live, and now he will be suspended and who knows when we'll see the Velveteen Dream back in MDT. Now, the next one revolves around Vindication, the blue brand, right? We have the revolutionary champion, Marty Skrull, who will also be suspended, and you're probably wondering, well, Brett, what the hell are you going to do with the revolutionary championship? Well, I think that we have to vacate the revolutionary championship. That We have to vacate the, the revolutionary championship. So, Marty Skrull, Marty Skrull will be suspended. He will join Velveteen Dream, and both of those guys will not be in MDT for the time being, until further notice. So, the revolutionary championship is up for grabs. Going into My Damn Nation, I mean, I guess this works out for some other talent on the roster. But honestly, you know, Marty Skrull didn't really do anything with the championship. He might have defended it once. I think in all of our history, we've had four revolutionary champions. We had The Miz, we had Sami Zayn, we had Adam Cole, and we had Marty Skrull. Marty Skrull did capture the championship from Adam Cole a long time ago, and his 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 championship just kind of has been floating around vindication. You know, he's been wrapped up in other storylines. He's been wrapped up with the Bullet Club and other things. So I think this is actually a blessing in disguise for the revolution championship because it can get out of that. It won't be handcuffed to the Bullet Club and uh, now the Bullet Club will not hold every championship on Vindication, which is uh, huge news for the Bullet Club. Omega, Rhodes, and the Young Bucks will now have to say goodbye to their partner, Marty Skrull because his championship will be vacated and now we have to make a decision regarding Vindication and what we're going to do with this championship. Now, the thing that comes to my mind is, you know, uh, one of these guys on our roster is going to be super excited for this and I have to mention The Miz right? I mean, The Miz, when he was the Revolutionary Champion, he was defending that thing every week. He had the, you know, he was trying to get into the Bullet Club, the Bullet Club Initiation Tour. He was defeating guys left and right, trying to plead his case with Adam Cole, with Kenny Omega, why he, the Revolutionary Champion, should be in Bullet Club and, you know, the notoriety and things like that. Him and Hurricane trying to get in that thing. Adam Cole and the Bullet Club would sideswipe him and they would induct Marty Skrull into the Bullet Club and they would turn on The Miz and beat the hell out of him. And really, The Miz has not recovered from that since. 
so I'm sure he's going to be eyeing that Revolutionary Championship. Another guy that could be eyeing that Revolutionary Championship is El Generico, a guy who's been in the Rumble. He's had some good showings here and there. He's had some good matchups. He actually had a great matchup with Adam Cole trying to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. Other mid-card talents that we have on roster, guys, Samoa Joe, Matt Hardy, Bobby Roode. I mean, we got some good talent on this roster that I'm excited to see get an opportunity here, especially since the Revolutionary Championship has been handcuffed. I did have some plans for the Revolutionary Championship. You know, going into My Damn Nation, um, you know, it was about to get real interesting revolving the Revolutionary Championship, and now I think it's even going to get even more interesting after, uh, you know, everything that's gone on. And again, I think it's going to work out the best. I think the Revolutionary Championship uh, was so prestigious. I think it was at one point probably the most prestigious championship in all of MDT, and then, uh, you know, it got handcuffed, and now it is free again, and we will see how this thing plays out on Vindication Television. I think we're actually going to have it showcased this week. Marty Skrull will not be on Vindication this coming week, so you don't have to worry about him showing up on the show. It's effective immediately, and we're going to see what we can do about this Revolutionary Championship. I thought about holding a tournament, but then again, I thought about the Money in the Bank briefcase. You guys know that the Vindication Blue Money in the Bank briefcase, this thing is going to be on the line at My Damn Nation, and uh, that's probably going to open the show, or it's going to be a big ladder match on the show is for the Money in the Bank briefcase. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it just yet. There may be a ladder match with a bunch of mid-card guys, but if I'm going to have a ladder match that involves the Money in the Bank briefcase with a lot of mid-card guys, why the hell are they going to want to go for the Revolutionary Championship if they already have this in their sights? Like, you can't go after the Revolutionary Championship, lose, and then go capture the Money in the Bank briefcase because that's not good logic, you know? Like, why wouldn't you purposely lose this to not have this so that you can possibly get an opportunity at the world title. See, that's some logic gaps that WWE wouldn't think of, okay? You know what WWE would do? WWE would be like, okay, go after the Revolutionary Championship in the vacant tournament. If you lost in the tournament, you would probably be plugged into the ladder match at My Damn Nation trying to get everybody on the card, and I don't want to do that. So right now, I'm trying to figure out exactly what we're going to be doing, but we will figure it out, and I think I want to do either a small man's tournament for the Revolutionary Championship and the finals take place at My Damn Nation, or we may do something else, or we may crown a champion on the next episode, and then do something else for the Money in the Bank at My Damn Nation, and then possibly have the championship on the line in a different platform at My Damn Nation. So I'm still mulling over the offers, but the biggest thing in today's video was the news about Marty Skrull and Velveteen Dream, and the Revolutionary Championship being vacated. We'll see how that plays out going into My Damn Nation. Should be a very interesting thing taking place, but uh, that wraps up all these mid-card guys, Money in the Bank, Revolutionary Championship. As far as other things that could take place on Vindication Episode 16 that should be coming up this week. I mean, you got Kenny Omega who got beat the hell out of. What's next for him? The Young Bucks got beat the hell out of by Braun and Kane. So they're obviously eyeing those tag team championships. But you got to think about the Wyatt Colt, right? Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, they didn't even get their championship match finished. They look like they were about to capture those things, possibly lose. Who knows? Because Braun and Kane showed up and cost them their championships. So I'm sure they'll be eyeing those championships once again. After the beating that all these men took, though, I, I doubt we see them in action on Vindication episode number 16. Outside of that feud, you also have the Iron Man feud between Pete Dunne and Cody Rhodes with Johnny Gargano thrown in the mix after their match at Hell's Gate. Pete Dunne did interfere at the end of that matchup and take out Cody Rhodes. And then you have other talent like Shinsuke Nakamura, AJ Styles, who lost in their Elimination Chamber, Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black, and The Undertaker all going at each other. And then I think the biggest thing that took place at Hell's Gate possibly would be the Balor Club showing up with Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Tama Tonga, and Bad Luck Fale. So as we head into My Damn Nation, guys, tons and tons of things taking place all over the show. I mean, my God, and this is just the blue brand. We still have the entire pink brand of MDT Live going on that uh, My Damn Nation is looking like one big-ass epic show coming together as we know it over these next six episodes. We're going to answer a lot of questions, and we'll probably end up with a lot more questions as we head into the mega show. I did want to get on here and talk about those suspensions with Marty Skrull and Velveteen Dream, the Revolutionary Championship being vacated. What is next for the title? Who would you like to see compete for the Revolutionary Championship going into My Damn Nation? I feel like The Miz has a very strong case, man. He had that long AF run defending the title, and then he got cut up there. I got some guys in the back of my mind that probably also have not been on TV for a while that'll probably be on here. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of the Revolutionary Championship situation down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.
We'll be right back.